Okay, what is the biggest misconception of you? What's one thing people think about you, but it's not true? Um, that I'm a bitch. A lot of people think I'm rude. Maybe I come off standoffish, and I have a resting bitch face, so that could be it. <laughs> have you ever lost an opportunity because of this misconception? Yeah, I think some people get intimidated, so then like they don't talk to me. They'll just be like, no, she looked at me, and she's not gonna do it, so yeah. Anything that you've regretted? Any opportunity that you may have missed that you regretted? Okay, there have been times where I have been a bitch though. So like I am mean, not to an extent. So um, yeah, I've definitely missed out on like some hostings probably or some gigs. Cause like, I feel like if you're not doing it my way, like cut it, like it's not gonna happen. Mm, I see. Uh, and on the opposite end of the spectrum, do you feel like you've ever gained any opportunities because of this? Yeah, I think so. Like some people, like you gotta be mean for them, like to really respect you. So I think sometimes me being like stern and like I guess you say bitchy, like it's worked in my favor. Like they know I'll stand up for myself. Craziest rumor you heard about yourself? <laughs> um, it was in the comments under a picture that I was on Ply's tour bus doing some strange things. And I don't even know Plies. So I was just like, and I've never been on anybody's tour bus. So it was like a really wild thing. I'm like, whoa, like people just say anything on the internet, anything. What do you think of Plies though? What do you think of his music? I mean, I'm from Florida, so I love Plies. That's Florida music, that's home team. But like, never been on his tour bus? Never been on his tour bus. Never been on anybody's tour bus. <laughs> Was this something you ever cleared up, even in the comments section, or you just let it slide? I definitely think I clapped back at that person. Like, I had to let them know, like, that never happened. Get that out your head. I don't even know where this is coming from. It was the randomest thing ever. I don't even know how they came up with that. Have you ever uh, been in a relationship with a rapper before? I don't take rappers seriously. I think rappers are hoes. Um, I've yet to meet one that can like be in a good relationship. And as much as I want to cry in the double R, I'm probably going to cry in the Nissan. So it's just not for me. Mm -mm. You've you've entertained it though. Yeah. <laughs> you have. It just... I've definitely entertained it. Like I've talked to a few, but not a few, but like I've talked to her before. Uh, somebody that had slid through your DM or somebody that you had actually met? It went down in the DM for sure. <laughs> Instagram makes it so easy to connect with people. So, And just curious, this person that slid through, was it somebody that you were already a fan of perhaps or enjoyed their music? It was crazy, yeah. I definitely like already kind of had a little crush. You did? It was a little fantasy of mine, kind of came true. So were you shocked when, it ha when he yeah. approached you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, look at God. But it didn't work out. He's for everybody. I so, see. Well, now he is. So that's over. Now, did this, because you already had a little crush on him, because you already maybe enjoyed his music, whatever the case may be, after you actually entertain this and try this out and it doesn't work out, does that change your perception of this person? Um, it did. It definitely did. And I'm kind of just like, uh. That's him. Not because of like what happened between us. We cool. But it's just like the more I know, like it's kind of it killed the fantasy for me. Mm. It killed it. <laughs> Let I down. And, and why didn't it work out? Why didn't it get further? He's for everybody. Like I these see. rappers are for everybody. <laughs> you caught him in a you caught him in a scenario, or yeah. he just okay. They're for everybody, man. They're hoes. Like I don't. I, like I swear to God, I don't think any rapper is faithful. Like, and it'd be the ones that be in like the real public relationship and be in your DM. I'm not gonna get embarrassed. <laughs> mm. So this person was already in a relationship when he hit you? No. Okay. No, but he's just for everybody. Uh, what happens, cause you do do hostings. Yeah. Uh, and you may have rap music being played at these hostings. <laughs> what happens if his song comes on? I still turn up. You do? Yeah, I can separate the music from the person. Definitely can. Just curious. <laughs> I don't know if maybe you sit down. No, I'm gonna turn up. Okay. It doesn't bother me at all.
I'll root them on. <laughs> so, no more rappers for you? No, nah, I think that's dead. That's so dead. <laughs> no. And what about recording artists, period? Maybe not a rapper. Maybe somebody that does country music, <laughs> pop music. Yeah. I mean, w is that off the table, too? Yeah. It is. I don't think, like, singer, rapper, musician, period. No. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Have you tried an athlete before? Have you entertained an athlete? <laughs> yeah, a few of my exes are athletes. And is that the same situation uh, since you've had exes and those things didn't turn out the way they may have right. may have supposed to? Are you done with athletes? No, <laughs> I think they're better than rappers. They they can be more faithful. I think I definitely think so. And care to share what sports these exes were in? <laughs> Um, football and basketball, that's it. And do you think there's a difference in faithfulness between each sport? Yeah, for sure. Basketball players, <laughs> they're hoes. Like, because they travel so much, they have so many games. Football players, they have more time at home. And this was uh, an NBA? NFL? Both, yeah. <laughs> Just curious. Both of them. Now, Okay, uh, is there a question people ask you that you hate to answer? Seems to be the same question all the time. You can't stand it. Um, am I really just Haitian? I hate answering that. <laughs> I don't know why people would think I'm like anything but. Like if I say I'm Haitian, I'm Haitian. But a lot of them think I'm mixed or something because I'm light skinned. So I always got, like, I gotta tell them, you know, they only show dark skinned Haitians on TV. There are light skinned Haitians. Like, don't don't do that. <laughs> do you care what people think of you? I think everybody does to an extent, um, but I'm definitely learning to not give a fuck anymore. Like, I used to be too self conscious of like what people say. At this point, I don't really care. And are you honest when you say that? I'm like ninety eight percent. Yeah, ninety-eight <laughs> percent. When it came to caring about another person's opinion of you, I know some people they can deal with health issues because of that. Some people, it's a certain level of stress they go through. Yeah. Other people, it's anxiety. Yeah. Worst case, depression, and even farther than that, uh, suicidal thoughts. Right. Has it ever gotten that bad? when you did care about another person's opinion of you? Have you faced these obstacles when you did care about another person's opinion of you? Um, I've definitely had anxiety. I think most people with like who influence or like have some type of status or entertainment, whatever, go through a depressive, like a depression. They definitely do. Um, it just weighs heavy on you sometimes. It can feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. Like it's terrible, but you gotta push through it however you can. And how did you? Did you seek counseling, <laughs> therapy, medication? No. Um, I don't know. I just how prayed about it. Definitely prayed about it. Sometimes you just got to release them, your emotions about it, get over it, and just move past it. I'm the type of person, I definitely like, I'll keep it moving. I'm not going to let one thing stop me. Are you able to pinpoint what the turning point was when you went from, you know, caring about these types of opinions to this point where you're 98 percent carefree <laughs> um eventually i got tired of arguing with people in my comments like it's just the point i don't even know you you don't know me like what like whatever you're saying is not even true so what am i going to argue with you for like you don't know me most of these people who have something to say about me don't know me when it comes to that uh occupation of an influencer yeah. can anybody do that or is it a certain type of people that are built for that, in a sense? I think anybody can do it, but not everyone's built for it at all. Like, you really got to have tough skin. You got to be a hustler. You got to drive. You can't be lazy because it's not like you're punching in the clock every day. Like, you literally, it's your lifestyle. So you really got to, like, have a passion for it to do it. I think that kind of weeds out people. Do you have tough skin at this point? Yeah, I would pretty much say I'm pretty tough now. It's not too much that could bother me. I've heard it all before. To the point now, I'm like, I'm just kind of interested. Like, what do you have to say? I want to know now. 
Just curious. <laughs> what are your keys to success at this point? What are some things that make you successful? Um, staying focused, taking time to myself. Like sometimes you just feel like you're overworked. You just need a couple days. Like I definitely learned to take time for myself. Um, I learned to write things down because like I'll have all these ideas and then forget them. I'm very forgetful. So writing them down definitely like I think keeps me more successful. That's a good something to do. Write down your ideas. That's what I do. And is it a, when it comes to ideas, is there a special place where these ideas generate from? Like, are you in the shower thinking of these ideas? Are you going to sleep or waking yeah. up thinking ideas? Or maybe at a certain location where, or, or maybe it's not something specific. Maybe it's just spontaneous and it just comes to you. I don't know. I would say more spontaneous, but I'm a daydreamer. So like, wherever it takes me, I just get these ideas that pop in. I'm like, yeah, that's fire.